here on this travelator, my speed relative to the camera is zero because we're both moving at the same speed. But relative to the Earth, I'm moving at about one meter per second. Skydiving footage often involves the camera person moving at the same velocity as the other skydivers. Everyone looks as if they're just floating in the air because their velocity relative to everyone else and to the camera is more or less zero. Relative to the ground though, they're actually moving at about 200 kilometers per hour. Now this tiger is walking on this catwalk with a velocity of one meter per second. If it walks at the same velocity on a platform which is moving at two meters per second, then its velocity relative to the ground is the sum of the velocities, three meters per second. If we mark the position of each tiger at a given instant, wait a few seconds and then mark their positions again, we can see that the bottom tiger traveled three times further during the time interval because it was traveling three times faster. If another tiger walks with a velocity of one meter per second towards the left, which we'll define as negative one meter per second, on a platform which has a velocity of two meters per second towards the right, which we'll define as positive two meters per second, then its velocity relative to the earth is two meters per second plus negative one meter per second, which is positive one meter per second, or one meter per second towards the right it's fairly clear that the two tigers are traveling at the same velocity relative to the Earth. If a boy now walks towards the rear of another platform with a velocity of negative three meters per second relative to the platform, blissfully unaware of the danger he's in, I might add, his velocity relative to the Earth is two plus negative three meters per second, which equals negative one meters per second, or one meter per second to the left. Ah! I told you he was in danger. The same mathematics applies to escalators. I can walk up this out of order escalator at about 0.5 meters per second, or I can stand on the working escalator and travel with it at about 0.5 meters per second. But if I walk up the working escalator, then my speed relative to the earth is 0.5 plus 0.5 or one meter per second. Similarly, I can walk down the out of order escalator at about 0.5 meters per second. But to reach the same speed, relative to the Earth that is, on the working escalator, which is moving at 0.5 meters per second upwards, I have to walk at one meter per second downwards. If I walk down the escalator at 0.5 meters per second, while it moves upwards at 0.5 meters per second, my velocity relative to the Earth is 0.5 plus negative 0.5, which equals zero. Thanks for watching this short excerpt from Shedding Light on Motion, episode three, Relative Motion. Relative Motion is the brilliant third program in the Shedding Light on Motion series of educational science videos. Using clear, real life examples and superb animations, we explain how the movement of an object is always relative to something else. We introduce students to the concept of relative velocity and to the related concept of the frame of reference, that is, the 3D space from which all measurements of an object's position and velocity are made. The student worksheets and practical activities that accompany the Shedding Light on Motion series can be downloaded for free from our website at www.liacoseducationalmedia.com. Thanks for watching.